sometimes you find yourself painting after a whole day in a dead-end street and you don't know how to survive. Uh, you don't like the color, you don't like the shape, it's not the person. Imagine that this is a commission. It isn't because this is the neighbor who was sitting for us yesterday night. But imagine it's a, it's a commission and uh, you don't know how to continue. There is something wrong but you don't know. Several things. There is maybe too much paint on the portrait, the colors can be wrong, all kinds of everything. Well, the first thing is don't panic. Uh, that's the most important thing I can tell you, don't panic. There are several things that you can do to get right in the end. Uh, but realize, was I tired? If you're tired, you can't make any decisions anymore. And portrait painting is about making decisions, what color on what place. So be aware if you are in good shape. I heard an art teacher from America saying, um, a good portrait starts with what you had for dinner last night. And I agree, because it's very important to realize, are you in good shape for making a portrait? Don't start a portrait at the last hour of the day, that you only have one hour to paint. Have enough time and be relaxed and start a portrait in a good condition. That's, that's one thing. But there are several things that you can do for repairing some mistakes. First of all, you have to know where is the mistake. Two things. I usually have a mirror at hand, so I look in the mirror and I see the portrait, the mirror shape, and it's easy because then you see the portrait in a different way. Uh, that's important because after so long painting you think the portrait has the good likeness. It can have the likeness that is a uh, record in here in your hard disk. So you can't judge. Mostly you can judge after a couple of, day if the li a couple of days if the likeness is okay. Another good help also is your cell phone. Why not take a picture of the portrait and see it or try to see it in a different way. It's always good help. Here I see the, the, the lights are too flat, the shadows are not really good, so I must come up with a solution. One of the solutions is start a new portrait. Eh? That's not really a, a nice idea because you're sort of into that process already, so you want to finish this one. Um, I will show you the newspaper trick. Um, the newspaper I take apart where there is not so much black ink on it and carefully I put it on top of the painting and I start rubbing with a piece of Kleenex. Here it is. Well, you see the, the extra of paint is now here. So you see most of the paint has gone, but the information of the portrait still is there. So when I continue tomorrow painting, the amount of paint won't bother me anymore.
I'm still not really happy with the result of these changes. Some details have to be corrected. I think there is a problem with the nose or the mouth, I'm not sure. Um, I'll show you in the next video how to detect these problems and also how to come back on an already dry painting. So, see the next video of this same portrait.